What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be teaching you how to avoid food aggression, how to look for triggers with food aggression, and how to train so that there isn't food aggression. So people say all the time, why do you pet your dogs? Why don't you just leave them alone while they're eating? We're training them so that they understand that if somebody puts their hand in their bowl or on their head or on their back, that it's not okay to react. But we're also teaching them that nothing bad is going to happen. So we need to teach them that if Cozy's around and she crawls up to their bowl while they're eating, there's going to be no harm. I'm going to be mediating this. We're going to let the two dogs in real quick and let them eat. Cozy, we're going to set her away from the bowls real quick and we're going to let her inch close. And I'm going to watch the dogs, make sure there's no trigger warnings. And I'm going to put myself there so that they know that there's nothing going on. I, as the pack of their, or the leader of their pack, they're going to be able to look to me and understand that nothing's happening. They know Cozy, she's part of the pack as well. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. You, come here. I'm gonna have you sit right here. And I'm gonna let the dog in. Wait. Okay, so why are we teaching these things? One, because we need to set our dogs and our kids up for success. If I never put her around the dogs while they're eating, one day she might give them a treat, she might give them food, not knowing because she's a kid what's gonna happen, and they might react a certain way. I have to train the dogs to understand the situation that they're in and how to react. So um, usually when we have reactions, it's when I'm not around and it's when I haven't been able to train towards those situations. We are making sure that these situations are in control. We're making sure that Cozy learns the situations, learns her boundaries, learns that it's okay to, uh, to go over to them while they're eating, but that they need space as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it did a little training for you. I hope it's good for you guys to see June and Kenai. Kenai is here happier than ever. Um, we've got Fluffy and Kenai in the background. They just actually barely ate, which I thought, hey, we might as well make a training video because it's been a while and we know people love our training videos. So if you guys love enjoying seeing happy, happy <laughs> trained Rottweilers, um, be sure to subscribe to the channel, check out our other videos and our vlogs, and we'll be here to, uh, to show you guys how to live with rocks. So.